In this video, I will show you how to create a decoration material that can be reused on your project to create amazing scenarios in seconds. Basically, we will take a free asset, organize the content into groups, and then using it to decorate the scenario. This tool can work with any prefab. This could be animations, lights, sprites, particles, or even characters. So let's jump into it. This time I'm using the 2D handcrafted art pack that you can get it from the asset store for free. When we open it, we can see a beautiful scene full of sprites carefully positioned. Uh, the problem is that if we want to replicate or extend it, it will take us years to create something similar in a large scale. So let's get into action and create something reusable from it. Let's start with the decoration material that will contain all the groups we need. I start by creating decoration groups, selecting only elements related to each other, like the lights, the rocks, the grass behind them, etc. I will hide the current elements and create the base of our new scenario, a spline. To add elements to the group, all you need to do is to drag the asset in the category. Once we created our groups, we can start to organize them and create a rule set for them. If we select the 3D and auto order, the elements are all together at the spline position. But once you set a minimum and a maximum distance to cover, you will notice that the groups are already organized in the same order that they appear in the inspector. When you drag a group in the inspector, also the positions are updated in the scene. Select the 2D and 3D order. Similar to the 3D position, you can set a minimum and a maximum order in layer, and you can see that now all the sprites have a correct order. You can adjust all the group at the same time, or you can also adjust one specific element. Now, the last problem is to place them in the exact position we want. This looks very organized, not so natural. Let's switch the controls to manual. As you move the slider, you can see the whole group is moving in the scene. In the inspector, we can also see which groups are overlapping with each other and play with those values. This is the longest step and it can take even hours, depending on the complexity of your scene. And finally, you can select which shader or color to apply to all the groups or to each group. I will add some to create the atmosphere I want. Check this out. This is where the magic happens. Let's say that we want to have more particles and sunlight, more elements in the foreground. Sure, there you go. With small changes, you can create totally different environments and try new styles immediately. You can randomize the whole spline for a new combination. Just draw the path and watch how your scenario appears. Rocks in the background, always vertical, done. No more ground to the layers, no more ground positions, adding or updating elements takes just a few seconds. No more waste of time, you have full control and you will get the quality you are looking for. And the best of all, the material can be reused on any spline, on any scene. I hope you enjoyed the video. The Spline Decorator is also part of the Spline Terrain 2D, among other useful tools for scenario creation. Check the link in the description, and if you have any question 
or any request that you would like me to add in the tool, you can find me on the social media website or the asset store. Thanks for watching and see you next time.